we can often forget about God's grace and his forgiveness. And we can easily start to think that this is something we earn. But we know that that is not true. And that's why it's so important to teach our children this. And so the best way to teach them this big concept is to use something physical and to play a game. So if I was standing in front of a group of children, this is how I would go about it. Hey kids, did you know that God created me and he created you? He created us to be close with him, to be in a relationship with him and to follow him. But sadly, we make a lot of choices that are wrong, choices that don't follow God, things that go against what God has said. And those things are called sin. Now, sin can be things like lying. God has said that we shouldn't lie and we should always tell the truth. And so that's going against what God has said. Sin can be things like stealing. God has said that we shouldn't steal. And so that's going against what God has said. What about gossiping and saying mean things behind somebody's back? That is sin. That's going against what God has said. What about watching something on TV that I know won't please God? That's going against God. That is sinning. What about being unkind and rude and angry? Well, that's going against God. And that is sin. Oh my goodness. Look at all the sin. Oh, and it's so, it's so heavy. Can you imagine if I had to walk around all day with my bag of sin? Well, did you know that the Bible says in Romans 3 verse 23 that all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God? That means that I have a bag of sin, but you also have a bag of sin. And God is a good God. He's a holy God. He's perfect. That means that God doesn't have any sin. But because I have sin, I am separated from God. I can't be with him anymore because of my sin. So I need to get rid of the sin. I don't want the sin. I know, I know, I have an idea. Let's get rid of our sin. We can do this. Now, play some games with your children to see if they can get rid of their sin on their own. What about if we try to get rid of our sin in our own strength? Surely if we're strong enough, we can get rid of our sin, but we can't. What about if we know the law and we memorize it and we can even say it in the correct order? But that doesn't get rid of our sin. What about if we suffer? Will that get rid of our sin? It doesn't. At this point, your children are going to be tired and they're going to want to get rid of their sin and give it to the leaders. But make sure your leaders know not to take their bags away from them. What about good deeds and doing good things? Encourage your children that these are things that God wants us to do, but they don't remove our sin either. Oh, kids, I don't know about you, but nothing I did in my strength got rid of my sin. You know, the Bible says in 1 John 1 verse 9 that if we confess our sin, that means to say it out loud, then Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And so, it's not about what I can do. It's about what Jesus has already done. He's already died for me on the cross to forgive me of my sins. And so the only way to get rid of my sin is to lay it at the foot of the cross.